the inspiration was, um, I suppose this time it was a little bit more, slightly tougher, a little bit more masculine in a way. Um, they spoke a lot about melancholy and this a little bit more, not down, but like a little bit more heaviness to the girls. Um, you know, there's a beautiful catwalk, there's all these like winter trees, you know, that are just bare with their branches. And uh, we wanted it to feel like she came from there. We wanted the girls to feel slightly more masculine, but at the same time still have its kind of Marnie poetry to the head. The makeup is going to be a very matte skin, quite pale, kind of a moody eyes in a tow peach color with gloss on top of it very round and the lips is a red lips with no line. I want everything to feel kind of blurry, you know, with no line, no, nothing precise. Um, thinking a little bit of a Sarah Moon picture, you know, fantastic photographer. What a way to start the morning in Milan with snow dropping from the sky. It's like the North Pole here right now. It's so chilly. At morning, a lot of severity. It was interesting in a house that we usually see a lot of pattern in print. The print was actually relegated to a bit of a winter scene. The idea of a very spare tree, not unlike what we're seeing here in Milan today in all of the snow in black and white and often with a little hit of aqua or a lime green. Certainly men's wear fabrics throughout the entire season and all over the runway at Marnie. Interesting where we saw them with the bustier sensibility, a strapless top, a strapless dress, which make it perfect for fall, a long fur fling that often had a contrasting tail that wrapped around the neck and was long. All sorts of leather, leather everywhere this season. A major trend, bonded, as we're seeing it many, many times, as a jacket, as a skirt, and even the idea of wearing it as a suit. And a lot of men's wear jackets also, often belted over a little bit of a more boxier skirt, all back to a bit of a flat shoe. It was beautiful. I could see them really put into a woman's wardrobe. I think a woman could wear that to work. You know, we always see like really bright colors at Marnie, and um, there's a lot of like neutral, cool, uh, dark tones. And I think that that, that the Marnie stuff was just beautiful. I love the the car wash pleat skirt. I loved the fur coming down one side was really beautiful. Um, there's a lot of fur this season. <laughs> It was um, quite understated for Marnie. Um, very beautifully executed, but simple, um, and under accessorized by their usual standards. Um, there were beautiful coats and lots of fur. It was very wearable. Her customer will love it. More commercial than uh, what I normally expect to see there, but I, I did like it very much. I'm a big Marnie fan, and I know I would love to own many of those clothes. I love the Marnie show. It's so great to see these clothes that you can actually wear and, and you want to photograph and they have a point of view. Um, and they were you know, an unabashed romance with fur, but fur combined with some very heavy 
um, fabrics and you know very man managed fabrics and shapes away from the waist, um, and they were kind of melancholy as Marnie sometimes is, um, but really beautiful, a little bit like armor. You felt like they were people were dressing for protection in a way. A nice fur sandal for the middle of winter, wouldn't you want one? But um, I don't think that many people will wear those with bare toes. But we saw a lot of flats. They were a lot of like, these were clothes that women were going to move in. I've been a Marnie girl for so many years and been with her as she's moved from kind of bohemian to this very sophisticated minimalist point of view. And I don't wear a lot of furs, but the fur that she does has always been so because that's where she comes from. Um, and she just has a really pretty way of making a woman simple but not frowlein, you know, not too, not too severe, but kind of playful without being silly or, you know, overly flirtatious. It's kind of perfect for a working woman.